Okay. Um, is this thing on? Okay. Hey, so I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm Dave with Saddleback Leather, and I'm going to show you everything that we have for under 100 bucks. Okay. So for gifts, this is November 2020. So we may come out with some new things. Uh, some of these might go away. We're always uh, mixing it up, keeping it interesting. So here we go. Everything under uh, 100 bucks and in a short time. Here we go. So I'll start off with one of our very favorite corporate gifts it is the Constitution of the United States Constitution. Sewn in the middle, this is uh, tear-proof, waterproof paper, and it's just fantastic. And then we have Book of Proverbs, Book of Matthew, Book of Luke, John, um, the, the Gospels here. Then we have uh, cord wraps. So for keeping your stuff organized in your bag, we have different lengths and sizes. Got a cord taco here uh, for different kinds of cords. Uh, these, by the way, see that little slot there? You stick it, th your cord through it, and then you can. It always, it's always there. You never lose it. Here are some luggage tags. Now this one is cool. At our factory, we don't have this, and we are missing the window. And we have this as a lanyard for ID badges. Uh, we can get this for you in corporate gifts with my brother Jonathan. Um, we have, so this is all natural veg and no window, no flaps, so people can't pick it up. We have this pin. By the way, we have a patent on this pin. This goes, it's really easy, it's really cool. Uh, copper tube with a leather knob. It's pretty cool how that closes. Then we have the coin stuff. Check this out. We have the coin purses, coin pouches. They go into your uh, pocket here. Let me put this down real quick. Um, here we have, uh, this is a bigger coin, uh, coin purse for, uh, also for dentures as you get older. This is a coin purse. Check this out. This is fun to, to do. So you just go like this. Huh? <laughs> what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? And it pouches out, pouches out like this when you're, when you fill it full of coins or pesos or euros, and you just, you just dump that out. It's kind of a little fatter, so it, it stretches as you use it. But still, if you're bored, hello. Then you have, um, let's see what else. You got the pin holder pin, pencil holder. This will also pooch out as you stretch it. And also, hi, you need to buy me. It's kind of cool. Then you have the <clears throat> playing cards. If you're a poker player, you want to look like uh, if you've got your poker gloves, then you take this out and everyone will be not wanting to play with you. Okay, now I have a whole other video for wallets, but these are all of our front pocket small wallets, okay? Um, if you want to watch the wallets and all that, all about them, this is our number one selling front pocket wallet. It's called the Front Pocket ID. Here's what it looks like used. Here's my personal wallet. This is the card wallet. I've been using it ever since. I love it. I love it. I love this one too. I love all these. There's a business card holder. Some people use it as a wallet. Uh, here's for the super minimalist. And by the way, all these have a, a radio frequency ID, RFID blockers in it. <clears throat> Except for this one because of that little window there. Um, here is the, uh, this one goes on your, uh, on your, uh, across your, your briefcase or backpack or whatever attaches when you're rolling it on your, your rollerboard, your carry on. Bolts it on. This is the fire starter. So you open this up. This is really great. All guys love this so it comes with little bits of uh, of waxed uh, like kind of candle fabric it's a waxed canvas and then you have this in there you can shave wood off the handle and then you light your fire it's super cool you're gonna love that okay my son's satchel he does hogs bag this is super strong pigskin and lightweight and it's it uh, just closes like that. You'll be seeing more from Hogsback, especially the backpacks. They're really lightweight, really strong. For people who have like bad shoulders, bad backs, those are... Oh, yeah. So I'm about ready to show you the iPhone case too. Please, please don't 
email customer service. I mean, we love to talk to you and everything, but uh, especially into the year, they get super swamped. And when they see this, people go, hey, excuse me, they'll email in, when, are, when is this gonna launch? <clears throat> and then uh, we'll send a newsletter out when it does. So please don't email customer service, please. Um, we'll let you know, sign up for the newsletter. So this, I put it, <clears throat> I usually clip it right here and I just leave it there all day. And then when I need to get it, I put this in backwards. I flip it like that. And so that way it's right side to right ear. If I'm, if I have it the other way, <clears throat> left ear, left ear. If I have it the other way, I have to crisscross and I get confused. So I keep this on me all the time. I have both. This is the AirPod Pro and we have the regular AirPod. They're super cool. Now here's the, y'all remember the iPhone 11? We did this case for it. Um, we do a case every year for it. And this is a hard, stiff uh, leather. Now, we've since changed it because some had softened up a little bit. So we have a different leather, and we are all good to go on these. And we have a bottom for them. This one didn't have a bottom. Now, this one has the holes. And we figured out with the new leather and a, a drying technique, a really long drying with the sun, it makes them, la it makes them stiff, stiff, stiff. They're super cool. These are coming out. I hope really soon. So then we have the little hogs back, uh, little piggly wiggly uh, keychain. We have, let me show you this stand here. Check this out. This is, I was on the airplane the other day and my wife was using, was holding her phone, watching a movie. And I said, honey, well, I didn't say it. I just got up, opened my backpack, got this out and she put her phone here like that in front of her and then she started watching the movie she was up here so then i sat up again i was across the aisle and i tilted it that way for her <clears throat> so for anyone doing uh, homeschool doing conference calls doing any of that stuff this baby is it work from home stand iphone ipad stand it is great you see me in the reflection there then we have and don't be surprised so we've done a whole lot of these uh, iPad cases. We've sold tons of these things and the last set that I did, they changed the iPads and it was harder to uh, get the get it to stay in place and so I just kind of canceled those. There's, we still, I still use them but the new one coming out is going to be great. Please again, don't ask customer service when because I haven't told them yet and so you'll get a notice when they come out but it's going to be a lot like this Check this out. Comes around, hooks in the back here. Now you have a stand, now you have it like this, or you can lay it down <coughs> like this in front of you. So iPad stand, expect that to come out for too long. Then we have these three hogs back, little uh, kind of like a, uh, little pouches, kind of like a Crown Royal bag. And there's one for Cross did these for, um, uh, yeah, it's Hogs back. Check, isn't that cool? Isn't that a great logo? And they're all pigskin, super tough. This is for marbles and, and little uh, seashells and that sort of thing. Here's a bigger one for all organizing your batteries and that sort of thing in your bag. And here's a bigger one. So then we have these, check this out. This is great, and I don't know if you realize this. I did a video in Gabon, uh, Central Africa, last year uh, with this. This is the one, actually, and this is amazing. We have four colors. It's for organizing bags, okay? So you have, just wrap it, and, it, and it's one piece of leather, so it's really satisfying just to look at. No seams except for here and here. No other seams. It's one solid piece. It's going to be around for a long, long time. So if you had four colors, let's say, in your junk drawer, you had your batteries and you had your clips and you had your tape and stuff like that. And another one, you had four colors or in your bag or in your car, first aid kit, sewing kit, whatever. This is a great bag. This is It's called the uh, organizer bag. This is similar, but check this out. I use this thing all of the time. So this is this. Check this out. <clears throat> This is what we travel with every single time. We actually, we travel with a few of these. 
because a lot of the places, so we have five passports. My mother-in-law goes with us now, and we have four yellow cards. She doesn't go to those places because, um, you know, a little fragile. Uh, but five passports, it's the family passport holder. So I'll just wrap it up. Bingo. This goes in my satchel. We're good to go with the Indiana satchel. It's great. This, we then Suzette carries this, and I carry this too, because a lot of places we go, you like cash in like $100, and you get a stack of bills like that, and so, or more, uh, Rwanda, that sort of thing. So we uh, keep our currency in here uh, for uh, pesos, or not necessarily so much for pesos, that's the coin pouch, uh, but Central African francs, or wherever we go. So we have cash. And then we have passports. This is the cash and receipt bag, but this is one of our very favorite things. And check this out. So any of these things, if you buy them for someone for Christmas, uh, you can't go wrong because they'll always use them sometimes. It's in their glove box. This one you hang, you can, there's an extra hole here. I don't have it through here, but you can put your phone in here, plug the charger into the wall. And if you're on a, in a space where you don't want to leave your phone on the floor in the hallway or something like that, just hang it there charging. And there you go. We have here, check out these two valet trays or catch-alls. So this is the firm one. Uh, these are a great corporate gift. Uh, one solid piece of leather. And then on the inside, you have a mat. You can stick stuff under there. Ooh, look at there. Lined with pigskin, which is super tough. And uh, this is for nightstands, for the desk, for dressers, um, and to empty your pockets. Put all your change in there, your pocket knife, your watch. You put all of that stuff in there. And then, and so this is a hard one here. Okay, this is a, a softer one. Still firm, but soft. Uh, this is made of wood, wrapped in leather. Okay, check out this baby. Look at that piece of leather. These two are great. This is the old bull. Um, this is the old bull uh, coaster set. This is a uh, double sided, uh, just a regular coaster, two pieces of chrome in there <clears throat> in a little bag. So on this side, you can put your logo of your company or your family name. Um, we'll do that for you. And this side has saddleback. So if you were ashamed of saddleback, but you love the coaster, then you would hope that doesn't happen. You could put your family name on here and give it out as gifts. It's really cool. So now here are the other wallets. Here's the, the business card holder wallet for change. And one guy puts a space pin in here, one of our guys. Um, these are just the trifold. We have the passport. This is the passport wallet. We have uh, the large wallet. We have the narrow bifold uh, card stack. It's almost a front pocket. We have the, this is our number one seller for um, the front pocket ID wallet is the number one volume wise this is the just one of the most favorite wallets we have it's the bifold and this is a um, i forget what we call this all of a sudden it just just flew away there's the uh long passport wallet the one of those uh, fancy person wallets it's really cool and now we have other wallets that are over a hundred dollars these are only under 100 okay and then we have Mountain Man Soap. My friend, Brett Trout, he owns Mountain Man Soap Company. <clears throat> and I love these. A lot of people who get them, reorder them over and over again. This is a brick of soap. This stuff, made for saddleback leather, it's got ground up leather in it. Now, it doesn't smell like leather necessarily, but you know you're getting scrubbed. It's kind of gritty. It feels, it's just a super great feel. And this one bar will last a month even if you sh shower every day. So we, even my wife loves this. There's carbon smoke, DCB, pine tar, pipe tobacco, and chestnut woods. So this is the <clears throat> Mountain Man soap. Let's see, let's keep going here. Got an old bull dog collar, the thing is a beast. I have this floating here because, and it stops here because when you hook the leash on, so it stays down, so this collar stays here. If you have this fixed here, it doesn't. I've got a little spot here, a little grommet for a uh, tag, so it's not bumping against this. So uh, yeah, this is the idea behind that dog collar. Trust me, a lot went into that, designing that thing. And then we have, let me show you these two belts. 
We got the old wool, which is just a big fat chunk of leather. Look at that. Look at that big old chunk of leather. That is a beast. And in fact, I've got it. Let me show you real quick. Look at there. It ages beautifully. And so what I did, why this is so special, this is the last belt you'll ever need. So I've got nine holes in it, and they're all three quarters of an inch apart. Uh, and I have it a little closer to the tip than most belts. Uh, because, just in case. And it had to have a little bigger holes because it's so thick. Look at that. Look how amazing that is. I want to kiss it. It's wonderful. It's a great belt. Um, and then this is the toe belt. This is my first belt. This is fantastic. It has a piece of veg here on the bottom. And then it has here, has chrome on top. And then and all, both full grain, which is... It's, Full grain, by the way, is like having all of the grain. The grain is the toughest part of the hide on top. And to shave that off and have top grain or genuine or bonded or split, that's like shaving the shingles off of your house. That'd be stupid. If someone did that to me, I'd kick them. Um, I don't have a roof right now. I live in a tent. But if I did, I would kick them if they did that. So then we have in the middle, to raise it up, I have a raised piece of full grain leather in here in between those two pieces of full grain leather and people go why are you doing full grain you're wasting money and i said just in case call it the toe belt because you could tow with it if you had to and then this raised piece it's not raised on the side i wanted it raised so that the stitching wouldn't get rubbed but the rest of the belt would so uh, these are great belts and then these buckles here they're 316 stainless i know to most people that doesn't mean anything but just now Met metallurgists around the world just pee their pants. Just trust me, 316 stainless is amazing. I think this buckle is rated to like 750 pounds. So in, in the laboratory, it's really amazing. Okay, there we have, here we go. <clears throat> and all of these, by the way, will age nicely. Uh, even if they're buffed, they'll look even better. Uh, but this is a document holder, okay? Pull this out, it has a smooth side of the pig in there. You pull this out. In a, in a presentation and you will close the deal. So I was in Tunisia one time in North Africa in the Sahara, right on the edge of the Sahara and there was this little Medina there and this guy comes out and he goes, look, purse, look, purse. And I go, oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that, that's cool. The closure. So I brought it back, incorporated it in here. It's on the everyday, the EDC satchel that I wear every day, it's, it's on all that stuff. So this, these are little known special little thing that we have for laptops. So we have one that fits up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. They stay, they stay in your briefcase. Now, if you have to walk down the hallway or walk somewhere and you wanna be, um, these you take it with you, but I leave these in my briefcase. There's for a 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro. Here's for a 60, up to a 16 inch. And I just leave them in there. These are the same, but vertical. So if you have a backpack, I leave it in. I leave. I have one for a 16 inch. Uh, that we're at right now we have 15 as of November 2020, but here pretty soon 16 inch. Don't email customer service with that. We'll tell you when it comes out. Just keep checking back. But but they're real protective. So by the way, when you're when you get damaged to your laptop, it's not from someone hitting the side of it. It's from the bottom, it's from a jolt. So when you drop the backpack or drop the, the laptop bag or your briefcase. So these, this is one piece of leather just sewn together and this edge and this edge stop the shock. This edge, also one piece of leather around, sewn up one spot. And, but along here, it absorbs this shock, never hits the ground. This absorbs, it has a little air cushion that has to slide down and then hit and stop. So these are great for protecting and they look cool when you're moving. So here's a guitar strap. I'm teaching my son how to play guitar now across. Uh, he is 11 years old. He's really, really enjoying it. We just did the Ring of Fire song, and we have different holes for different old guitars, different sizes. I've got, now check this out. It's kind of cool I'm teaching my kids how to play guitar. Check this out. This is the moleskin. This is all used up here. Check this out. This is the moleskin cover, or look like term 1917, look term, I gotta learn how to say that, or just regular old journal. <clears throat> and you can stick your pin in here, 
four. Stick it around here and stick your pin in right here. It stays there. I have this raised up for a reason. It's so that the pin can stay in and when you put it into your bag, it doesn't fall out. This one is, you can stick this into here or you can use this for your iPad, stick your iPad into here. Um, this one, you're taking notes. You've got, um, you've got it all here. This is the like term. Uh, it, they, they number the pages on the bottom. It's kind of handy. And you have like a table of contents area in the front. Pretty cool what they're doing. And they were the original guys. And the Moleskin, I'm not sure if you know, but they just have a better marketing team. But still, both of them are really high quality. And so uh, this, and also if it's ring binders too. So you can put a rings binder in here. And, uh, and then you have a spot for the pin. So these are the two Moleskin covers, leather Moleskin covers we call them. And then check out these babies. Check out, so the desk pads are on the next uh, level. These, the desk pads are the next, um, they're over $100, so I don't have them here. But this is a set of three. I always think that designing with a set of three is really nice for the desk. I think it just looks nice in triangles. You see it in kitchens. So I have the normal mouse pad in Old Bull, that really thick stuff. And then I've got it in really thick here, but with uh, two layers of vegetable, of, of regular old chrome tan, great leather. Um, and then I've got neoprene in these, so it's a little, the pin bounces back a little. It still bounces back in this because it's leather, but you know how you, when you ride on glass and stuff, it's just kind of rough. Uh, it's, it's too hard. Well, leather is a fantastic riding surface, a riding surface. And so some people like to, have a, if you're doing CAD, they have a lot of big area they're doing. A lot of architects will buy the large, a large mouse pad. Gamers, kind of casual gamers, the real guys who are really into it. Yeah, it's kind of long. Uh, but this is uh, the set. We have a whole set, the, the large mouse pad, the normal mouse pad. And then we have, this is old ball, this is regular. And then we have the desk pads. Um, and when I'm, check this out. What I found is I don't like my forearms. Check this out touch like right here and so uh, what I do is I put this over the edge see that and I do it with desk pad and then I can put my laptop over there and I am protected and it's really comfortable to work from home at the coffee table and I'm sorry at the kitchen table um, but yeah so if you do that check this out if you had two or one desk pad you would it's kind of cool Anyways, uh, that's what we have. I said, uh, and that means it's over.